what is going on guys I just want to apologize if this video seems a little bit rushed it's um, kind of corrupted a bunch of times so it's taken me a few retries to actually get it to work and I haven't had much sleep either so I do apologize if the video isn't up to my normal standards and I apologize if I do anything incorrect in the video I don't show everything in detail anyways enjoy the video what is going on guys, today I'm going to be teaching how to uh, vertex paint in the Unreal Engine. I'm only going to be doing a basic vertex paint, just using two materials using the alpha channels. So if we look at the two examples I've got, we have just a red material and a green material. The red material has a few alterations like it's a it got metal on one and roughness is a little bit high so it's a bit reflective and then the um, green material is pretty much the opposite so if I actually click on this and make sure you're on paint and I go to alphas and I'll take everything else I should be able to and if I swap it I can paint it green there you go and if I go over to this one which is like concrete with like a puddle or something I can do the same Ooh. so I can get rid of the puddle or I can paint the puddle back in Right, so I'm going to go about showing you how to do that today. So first thing we need to do, if I get up there, is we need to get our like um, we need to get our mesh that we're going to import. So the mesh I'm using is just a plane, but because it's vertex paint, you need to have a lot of vertices on your actual mesh so you can paint onto them. So the one I'm using has all of these vertices, but another one in the engine I have. So if I swap between the two, you can see this one. If we look closely. All, all, all the white dots are all vertices yeah if we go to this one down here which is the second example I have this only has a few vertices on it so it's got four across by four and then if I rub it out or paint it in it's sort of very blocky it doesn't have a nice smooth effect so depending on what you want it to look like depends on how many vertices you want to put into it and um, like because you might want you might not want it smooth so you might want to only have a few vertices or you might want it smooth so you put a lot of vertices in it so let's go um, about making our new material. So this is just uh, another copy of one of these planes that I had in there, had from there. So if we go create material, and we're going to go vertex, um, vertex painting test. There you go. And let's apply that to there. Okay, now let's double click in our material. All right. So if we first um, we want to start hooking up the two materials we want. So hold free, left click and get your two colours. So I'm going to be doing a basic one. I'm not going to show you how to sort of do the water one, but using sort of the same method you can go about doing that anyway. It's just a little bit more into the actual making the materials for it. But right now I'm just going to make a very basic one. Okay, so if we hold L and left click we get lerp. You can type it in as well. If you click right, you can like type lerp in or same with constant. If you type constant, get a one, two, three or four constant. So we're just going to get these up make this one let's go pinky or purpley and this one could be yellow all right so now we've got our two different colors so if you don't know what a lap does let me quickly get this constant here so hold left and le hold left hold one and left click and you get a one constant so if we get that constant up and we look at our lap if it's a zero it's purple and if it's at one if we open it up it's yellow so what a lap does it sort of just fades between the two like the two materials you put into it so if we put that to 0.5 it will try to merge both the materials together and in this case purple and yellow kind of make a I guess a light red kind of a color so if you had actually like concrete and water like I have it will sort of mix them together but we're not going to be using a constant we're going to be using vertex painting so if you type in vertex and you want vertex color drag that in and we want to be using the alpha channels we can use the other ones, but it's just easy at the moment to use the alpha channels because we're just swapping between two materials. So we connect that up, and we move these out of the way. I like it being a little bit neat. Okay, then we connect that to base color, and already we have we should be able to. So if we just click apply, and we go into our material here, and you can already see it's working. We can already paint onto our material. Then if you just want to make this more advanced, like you want to make the yellow uh, metallic with a shine and the purple matte with no shine, you can go about doing that by pretty much copying the same process three times over. 
So you got that one, that one. Connect the lap. Connect the lap. Connect the um, alpha channel. Wait, we only need one constant for this, so one and left click. Connect that up. Connect that up, and let's make. So the gold's the second one down. So let's make. Well, I say gold. I mean yellow. So let's make that one shiny, so it looks like gold. Connect that up. Let me make it a tiny bit more orange. Try to make it actually look a tiny bit like gold because it's nice. Yeah. And again, down here, just one constant because this would be for your roughness. And if we just change that to, um, so that's the purple. So purple, let's say we don't want it very shiny, so we put it to 0.1. Let's say we want the goldy one quite shiny, so 0.9. And connect that up. Actually, that might be the wrong way around. Yeah, that's wrong around. We want that one to be 0.9, and that one to be 0.1. All right, and look, you got material. You can't actually see the purple one yet until we get back into the engine. So make sure your alphas are connected up to the alphas on the laps. Go into here. Make sure you got alphas ticked, or if you wanted to use red, green, or blue, you just connect the red, green, or blue up in here, and then have that one ticked when you go to do it, and then you should be able to paint your textures on. And that's all I'm going to be showing today. I will have another story showing you how to use multiple materials. So be able to use red, green, blue, and alphas. So you'll be able to paint eight materials onto one surface. And I'll also maybe make a second story to show you how to sort of do puddles on things because it's quite a nice little effect. Um, I hope this helps anyone having trouble with doing this. If you want a tutorial specifically, leave in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and bye bye.